In this presentation, we're going to look at payment registration for Microsoft Dynamics NAV, which is a new functionality introduced in NAV 2013 R2. And it's an alternative to the cash receipt journals. So let's go to the payment registration. And the first time you launch it, you'll notice that you enter the setup asking you to select a template, a batch, and, and a bank account. So it's a list of uh, customer invoices that needs to be paid, and we can simply select them and click on the post payment. So here two payments will be recorded. So very quick way to register a, pay, a customer payment. The date received can be changed. By default, it's the current date. So let's say we received this one yesterday. The amount received could be a partial amount. So in this case, you could use a post as a lump payment. So only 100,000 received. And you can see the remaining amount is changed. Let's have a look quickly at this uh, customer. And uh, look at all his ledger entries. So we see at the end the, uh, the payment, 100,000, that goes with uh, the invoice. Okay, this one now with the remaining amount changed. What if the customer pays several invoices at once? Here, if we select two, it's going to make two payments, so I don't think we can do it, and it's better to go to the uh, cash receipt journals and uh, make the payment as usual. On the details, we have some information if there is a discount for an early payment. We can navigate to the sales document. If we look at the search document, it looks at the existing sales orders, so unposted. Here, if we indicate an amount and a tolerance, it looks at, at all the sales orders in the system, taking into account the amount including VAT. And you'll see that the lines will turn red if the payment is overdue, and you can use the link to the finance charge memo. Uh, 